and I say to each of you, go outside, let's go outside and let's count all the black cars on the parking lot. Walk around the parking lot and we come back in and I say, okay, how many red cars were there? And you say, well, I didn't go out to count red cars, I went out to count black cars. Yeah, but the red cars were there, weren't they? And the silver ones and the white ones and the gold ones and the green ones and the purple ones. And so the evidence is out there, but we're not looking for it. Okay? So it's in essence going out in the parking lot looking for black cars and not realizing that there's, the whole world is full of all kinds of evidence. We've got all kinds of things out here that say, you know what, I, uh, I'm good, I'm perfect, and I'm wonderful. Or I'm a passionate, significant man. I can look for evidence of that. And I'll find evidence of that. Or I can go out there and look, and find, and look for evidence that I'm tired and broken. I've got pains here and there. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. I can look for evidence of that, and I'll find that too. What are we looking for? What do we really want? How is it that everybody isn't already understanding and talking about these two concepts, okay? Functional medicine and methylation. If you're going into the doctor to handle a, a, a concern, a health condition, uh, what's your intention? Very simply. Anybody want to offer up? Fix the problem. Yeah, fix the problem be, to be better, all right? However, who are the entities that you look to to help support this? Well, you look to the physician. You might look to a hospital, right? Uh, you might look to uh, a, 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 dr a drug, so the pharmaceutical companies that are producing these uh, tools to support your improvement in health. Uh, I'll throw one out there that not everybody thinks of all the time. You, you're, you're really, truly, you're also looking to the food industry, right, to give you the things you need to, uh, to, uh, to assimilate for, for good health. And uh, the problem there is, is that what's the attention of the food industry on? Profits. What's the attention of the pharmaceutical company on? Profits. What's the attention of the, the hospital on? Yeah, big time. yeah, big, big time profits. There are eight factors that affect that methylation. And what you'll notice is that really only one of these actually based on genetics, which can be refreshing because what? We can't change our genetics, right? Uh, so why don't we realize why we should care? Well, there's all kinds of reasons and, and those are some of them because that's where the money is then if their attention is profits and so they can, they can teach us whatever they would like to teach us, can't they? with the story of Elvis Presley. And does anyone here know what he died of? Died of a broken heart. His heart broke. Literally, physically, his heart broke. And his hit song that got him started was Heartbreak Hotel. Now what I do today, I do because of Elvis Presley's death, in a sense. I was, as I said, young, I was in high school. And I heard the news and I thought, there's got to be something wrong with this. Here was a man who was loved by everyone. He was considered the king of rock and roll. People were crying and wailing. And when you listened to him before, you heard him talk about his insecurities and how he really believed that he wasn't loved. How could somebody function with such a contradictory example of the evidence that existed? And when he died of the heart attack and they said health conditions and possibly a drug overdose, I thought there's really got to be something that can be done about this. And I began my pursuit of gathering information. My teachers at the time introduced me to Milton Erickson's principle. We are whole, perfect, creative, resourceful, and making the best decisions we can with the information we currently have available to us. This has been fundamental in my life's journey. It's fundamental in the creation of emotionalism training and core alignment coaching, as we've heard about today. 
And one of the things that I want us to all recognize is that we are body, that's our actions, that's our conscious, that's what we do, that's how we act. We are subconscious, that's our feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. And then we are unconscious, that's our heart, and it's storing all of our information from the beginning of time on and influencing us in the decisions that we make.